Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Wednesday, Wednesday Carvings with Bob. Today we're going to be working on something special. It might be the start of a new little series we're going to start doing here on Wednesday. And today we're going to try to recreate Season 1, Episode 1, A Walk in the Woods. Now that episode originally aired January 11th, 1983. Bob Ross painted it and made this beautiful painting and uh, basically the debut to the television show that you all know. Now today we're going to try to recreate that with a chainsaw and some beautiful paints as you guys can see lined up here on the side and uh, hopefully we have some fun. Hope you guys are able to disconnect from the world, relax, have a great time, maybe even try it yourself. The most important thing is to have a great time and have some fun. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let's see what we can do. The original painting has a bit of a a uh, light sky with some fall colored trees and a little stream trickling down through. And what we're going to attempt to do with the chainsaw and some power tools and a little bit of spray paint is create a three dimensional piece that depicts that original painting. So we're going to do our best and uh, without further ado, let's start running some chainsaws.
think we're about done with the chainsaw work. We're gonna move into using some power tools here, guys, to clean up our trees and kind of start to really define the piece. If you guys haven't seen the original painting, which is called A Walk in the Woods from 1983, I do believe that it is available to watch right here on YouTube on uh, the Bob Ross channel. Um, the original artwork with the original artist. So uh, if I can, I will put the link to that down below in the description. And when you're done watching this video, you guys can go there and see how close I am or how accurate I am to that piece. So for right now with no color, this is where we're at. This is a stream coming through with a bend. We've got a rock right here. We've got this tree that comes up and splits. We've got these tall, happy trees in the back, and this one's a little farther away, so it's smaller, and this is part of another tree. You've got to remember the original painting's on a square canvas, and so I'm trying to recreate that sort of, sort of look by keeping it confined to a sp specific size and not wrapping around the edge and just kind of keep it within the frame. If you guys are enjoying the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I think next week we'll be carving Season 1, Episode 2. We'll have to look it up and see what it's called, but you guys can keep an eye out for that video. When you hit subscribe, be sure to hit the bell, hit all, and your, turn your new YouTube notifications on so you guys don't miss out. Boy, getting tongue-tied. All right, let's move into some power tools. Let's start cleaning these happy little trees up. different tones. The very first color we're going to use is Ivory Bisque. We're going to coat pretty much the whole piece with this as this is going to be a lighter piece. Now I would like to add that I do have big fans blowing, so one fan blows in and another fan blows it away. That's why I'm not wearing a mask, otherwise I would be wearing a mask. And if you are to attempt this at home, you really should wear some sort of respirator or mask, as paint fumes are not safe. Hope you guys are enjoying the video as we start to lay the color in. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys haven't already. Leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think, let me know if this is fun, relaxing, insightful. What do, you, what do you guys think of these videos? And uh, yeah, be happy to read those comments. Maybe even respond, we'll see. The thing we're gonna do is the backdrop and start working on the sky before we do the coloring in the front. We wanna make sure we don't have a lot of overspray on our sky, so some of that white's dried just a little bit, but I think we're gonna 
do a little bit of a blue sky over here, and then kind of have it a yellowish, so almost like the sun is going down kind of look. Now the blue I'm using is aqua. So we're using an aqua blue right now to kind of just mist it in on that backdrop. And what I would like to do if it works out well is we're gonna fade that aqua blue into a little bit of sun yellow. So I have just a little bit of sun yellow coming over here on this side. I'm trying not to do very hard colors and keep it kind of misty. We sort of want this sunset kind of look going on. Sort of blend over there together. A little more aqua at the top. I kind of want it to look as though the sun maybe is, is setting over here. Doesn't quite change this yet. There, now that really helps blend that yellow. Just a little bit of the yellowish color over here with the blue misted on top. Let that dry just a little bit. We're going to kind of move on. We're going to move on to painting the ground that's next to the creek. We're gonna go back to using a little bit of that sun yellow so you can have a little bit of that same sort of golden color like golden rod next to the crick. I'm gonna try to not get it on the backdrop. I, mean, I just got a little bit on it right there. So I'm gonna have to see if I can do better. Gonna have to come back in with a touch of the aqua and hit that backdrop because I just don't like oh I just uh, I made a mistake you know happy little accident all right so put that on we got to remix it a little here just a little bit on top now this time this time I think what we'll do is we will stick a little shield in here Get our gold in there. There we go. Our backdrop color is done, and we're gonna go ahead and put this piece of cardboard in here. Hopefully, it doesn't mess our paint up too bad. Over right, there, we don't get all these other colors in the backdrop that we don't want to see. The color we're gonna do is a little bit of sand. The color is sand. We're gonna go ahead and spray the trees and a little bit over that golden color. Oh, you guys gotta tell me when you can't see. Speak up. It's all right. We're just kind of putting the sand over everything, but lightly over the gold, or the yellow we put on earlier. Moving into a spring green. We're just gonna mist it over these trees in the back, just a little. That's a lovely green. Green and a spring green. I don't know, they both look different, don't they? We're gonna take the one that's a little bit different shade, at least. We're gonna kinda add our highlights to the trees in the background. it up just a little bit here with some chestnut. Now 
Let's go back, do a little more spring green. I think it's time to start putting in a little bit of green down next to the river or the creek. I'm going to try a little bit of darker green this time. I'm going to be using a hunter green. Just kind of lay it in here. Something like that. Well, that's drying. Now this tree here is a little bit different. There's a tree trunk coming up, so we're going to need to shoot some brown on that. And we're going to go back to using that chestnut. In the front, I want to have a little more green and a little more vibrant kind of colors. A little bit, well, not necessarily vibrant, I guess. I want it to be darker. I want the tree to be darker. As the sun is over here, these trees are a little lighter because they're catching the sun, but this one's down low, so it's still not catching a lot of that sun like the others. Now, in order to get the front of that tree, you gotta block what's behind it a little bit. We're gonna put a little more spring green. I like that. That's looking really nice, really nice. So we gotta go in though, and we gotta lay in a little more of the goldenrod color mixed in with our green on the sides. Let's with golden sunset yellow. This is nice and vibrant, so we're gonna tone it back. We're gonna use a little bit of nutmeg while that yellow is still wet. Hopefully it'll mix and kind of tone the yellow back just a little. Into is the crick, and we're gonna use a little seaside. The color is seaside. What we're going to try to do is just get it in the crick area. And so we're going to have to use a little piece of cardboard so we can try not to get it on the sides. Well, that can was easier to control than others, so I didn't necessarily have to do it on the whole thing. Alright, got that blue in there, that seaside blue. Now, it's pretty vibrant for the colors that we have on here, so I want to tone it back with just a little French blue. Now we're going to use a little bit of the ivory bisque. Actually, first thing, we need to paint our rocks. We've got a couple rocks in here. We're going to need to just use a gray. Now what I like to do... <clears throat> I'm 
What I'd like to do is take the gray, spray it on a rag, and dab where the rocks are. You could use a paintbrush if you wanted. But I think this is challenging and fun, to be honest. Trying to make it work with a rag. Gives us nice little texture as well. That rock needs to be a little more solid gray, I guess. So we're gonna have to, there we go. Put it in and remove a little. I think that's gonna be it. Got a couple little rocks in there. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing with the ivory white and sort of give us some rippling effect in the water. The rag stretched out here, it's kind of a point. Mind you, this is just an old cotton rag, nothing special here. I'm gonna go around our edges just a little near the rocks, and the water is casting over the rocks. It's not a bad idea to wear gloves either. <laughs> Just a little bit more here. I think that's going to do it. Going to need to remove our cardboard piece. There's our background. All right, guys, there it is. I've done my best to recreate a walk in the woods originally painted January 11th, 1983. Again, I'll try to put a link to the original artwork down below, and you guys can watch the original painting happen. And you can even come back and let me know how close this is and what you guys think. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hope you guys have been able to disconnect from your day to day and get through the middle of your week. You've only got a couple more days in the weekend. We'll be here for you to enjoy. Let's see if we can get you guys all the three dimensional shots here. You know, these colors have come together really, really nice. And I'm really happy with this piece. Now next week, hopefully we will do Season 1, Episode 2. You'll have to check in and see what that painting is called, because I don't remember. <laughs> Sometimes that's just the way it is. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this artwork, this piece, this time together. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week, and God bless.